Indonesian soldiers take cover. Under attack as they search for a New Zealander held hostage by the West Papua Liberation Army. This unverified body camera footage posted on the weekend after the clashes. Satgas ini mencoba untuk menyisir, mendekati posisi dari para penyandera. Kemudian ada serangan dari mereka, satu terjatuh di kedalaman 50 meter. Dan ketika mencoba untuk menolong, mendapatkan serangan ulang. Kondisi lainnya masih dalam tahap pendalaman. West Papuans claim it was a much deadlier confrontation. Yang telah ditembak oleh kami, TPNPB has killed six members of the Indonesian military Kapasos, nine have been taken prisoners by our military, and 26 members of Kapasos have escaped into the jungles. New Zealand pilot Philip Mertens was taken hostage in the remote Induga region in February while flying in workers. The Indonesian military putting his captors on notice. Yang paling menyulitkan di operasi ini adalah cuaca. Kondisi pilot sudah diketahui areanya, operasinya sudah makin mengerucut dan terfokus. Also on the weekend, another civilian plane was hit by gunfire. In fighting in the volatile Induga region, 17 Indonesians were killed in one attack in 2018. Indonesia is regularly accused of human rights violation in its West Papua provinces, with claims of more than 100,000 dead. The latest violence just weeks ahead of the 60th anniversary of the UN handing control of the former Dutch colony to Indonesia. A disputed referendum in 1969 formalised the handover, but a brutal conflict has raged ever since. This is still a war and we need to convey that four helicopters belonging to the Indonesian military are conducting airstrikes at Paro district and we are still monitoring the situation on the ground now. The New Zealand government says we are aware of the reports and will not be making any comment. The welfare of Mr Mertens is our top priority. We are doing everything we can to secure a peaceful resolution and Mr Mertens safe release. As the hunt for the missing pilot intensifies, there are fears more lives will be lost. Stefan Armbruster, SBS World News. More than 100 Ukrainian servicemen have been...